That belongs in a museum. I've been thinking about for a long time is, uh, what if uh, your opponent steals your your Cthune with your with Sylvanas? Is it still your Cthune? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> they stole it. It's it's theirs. It's legally their property. Whoa! Okay. Oh, hello. Wow. That's what hello. I'm talking about. You go well, all in though. It is running right into Brawl, which I think Zelay thinks that uh, Dog doesn't have given last turn. I mean, Despite attack a five seven bash was not super strong, and he's he's put he's loading everything on the board. Yeah, but that's nope. a, he's at nine health now. So yeah, I mean, if he brawls and a five seven comes out of this, uh -oh. then he has to attack into it and revenge in order to clear it off the board. Ooh. Okay. It's still kind of a brutal attack, though. I mean, you're at nine. Ugh. This one's going to be close. Two sea giants in hand. I don't think Zelay's hand can be possibly worse right now. I think he'd actually like those Priestess of Elune a little bit more. What about three sea giants? <laughs> oh, gosh. And maybe... If you double implosion the Doctor Boom, there's a high likelihood that you can play both sea giants. Also, also Doctor Boom lives. <laughs> and if the Doctor Boom dies, if you roll a three and then a four, uh oh, or a four and then a three, uh oh, he rolled a three, he killed it. Oh, no. Well, I, I say, oh no, but I guess that's a good thing. Dog's kind of fighting for his life here still. I mean, the one ones are still a threat. And not like a little one. I mean, he does have Despite to start to keep the damage high, but... I can take the hit. Yeah, we can't blame him for this yeah. one. 14. What could kill him here? It would take a lot. Oh. Well, the, the thing is... Um, Uh-oh. Zelay's now at 14 himself, which means that, that Despite plus a Grom kills him. So that means he might be uh, even more inclined to... Uh, play the Defender of Argus to play around that, but I don't know how how he's feeling right now about the chances that that dog does have that lethal potential. Move. Let's go for life tap here. Oh, he, I don't. I needed the time to think about this. Yeah, very effective trades here, though. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I think he found a good spot as long as he gets that last attack into the face, and he doesn't miss two damage. We'll Zelay see just that... looks embarrassed, too. Oh, I, yeah. I, that's, that's something I don't think I've ever seen happen to Zelay, too, is that situation. Double shield block! Oh, my gosh! Well, all of a sudden, Dog's back at, like, 30 health as, as this turn after this turn. He's even going to have the next shield, shield block for, for next turn, so he's going to BGH this off. Still, though, I mean, there's an opportunity. Dog's out of stuff. He's got the death bite, but he doesn't have removal left. And Slay still has that second sea giant. So, at this point, you, you can't afford not to tap. Uh, all right, well, I, this is so, sort of those situations where this matchup comes down to, where it's it's not necessarily... Ooh, the oh, the execute! Oh, my, my goodness. gosh. You know what? No presence this turn. So Zelay has a couple turns here, life tap, but he's going to need these next minions to bring some heat. He's out of Sea Giants, he's out of Hobgoblins, and now is when all the 1-1s one -one start flowing in. Two Imp Gang bosses, definitely welcome at this point, but this is going to be tight. I mean, if Dog can pick up some damage, like if Dog, if dog draws Death Bite, he's threatening lethal. Yeah, and just load it up. Ways to go on this one. <laughs> so he's hoping that Dog just kind of just draws puny cards for the rest of the game. It's, he's still a, a long ways away, though. That's just seven damage on the... Oh, the oh! What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and oh Dog is gosh. just like, no reaction. He's like, what up? What up? I got a big brawl. Nerubian Egg is... <laughs> just on time. <laughs> yeah. And Nerubian Egg shows up precisely when he means to, TJ. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, I mean, Dog, all he has to do, there's only two damage represented on the board. He can just armor up for days. 
That's just, that he's just going to tap himself to death. It's only a matter of time before Dogs just picks up a Grom Hellscream, am I right? Like, he still has that in his deck. I don't That's think he... That's at this point, too. Yeah. I don't, I don't think Santa's got the time for this. We're going to find out. Dog still has to draw the right cards, but... He's a fantastic shape to do so. Shield Slam for the Knife Juggler. And Sludge Belcher's going to back this up very nicely. Now even for the Nerubian instead. Yeah. Well... Second pick, power overwhelming. Zalea only has one card left. <laughs> what is it even? Uh, second PO. It's okay, well, it's a Haunted Creeper. And that's going to do it. So Zalea, uh, unfortunately, not going to be able to piece together a victory here. That was some tight. Or just start going face again. I mean, that's the cleanest it's going to get. And you still have a resilient board. You're not weak to swipe. Oh, he's actually just going to trade off his one one mana, or he's sorry, playing, one health. He's playing around the top deck swipe, which I actually think is really smart here. I think it's one of the ways he loses this game. His yeah. board presence is so heavy that he didn't really need to play the Sea Giant. Mm -hmm. Forced into Innovate Savage Roar. Going to help clean up some of this stuff, but goodness, the damage is going to keep pouring on. I mean, Zelay might have turned the corner, honestly, with the Hobgoblin turn, and Dog not having the swipe to take care of it. Uh, this is actually quite a bit that's going to be cleared off. Uh, he's going to be able to clear the Gormok. He's going to be able to clear the Hobgoblin. Unfortunately, the Living Roots doesn't really have a use. He can Living Roots off the Divine Shield. From this attack. You know, at this point, you just got to hope that Zelay's hand is fairly dead. Which is just not a very good hope. Yeah. So, Living Roots for the one ones, And, yeah, it's just going to pray. Power Overwhelming. It's That's nine. two damage off. Yeah. I think you tap here. Frank or Z. Hey, that one's all right. Yeah, that pretty much just locks up the game. Ancient of War would be a good draw here from Dog, but pretty much outside of that, it is looking like it could be done. Whoa, Ancient of Hello. War! Hello! Is that oh, a shot? My. I still don't think it really gives him a shot. There's still so many outs here for Lethal because Power Overwhelming... Oh no, Power Overwhelming wouldn't allow him to cleanly push through. So... I mean, I mean it's better than nothing. I mean, say he draws another taunt back behind this, this is a potential recovery. Which as well. I don't know, he's going to need a spell because three damage is going to be pushed through and even after the big game hunt, there's going to be five damage left on board. Even like a swipe won't even it's a taunt. Won't even clear. A taunt? Ancient of Lord, that's a heal. Oh that keeps him alive. Oh jeez. And that's both power warmings gone, so now we're like a, a charger away. Does this deck even run chargers as finishers? No, it doesn't. We've seen the full thirty cards, two power warmings. Yeah, that's that's, that's right. That's the enhancement. And, yeah. But I don't know if if you know dog's gonna find a way to, to uh, deal with a sea giant. He's going to need a lot of help off the top. But then, at that, that point, Zelay's sort of got to make the decision, hey, do I, I start removing the board to protect my sea giant and sort of go all in on it? Like, what's the what's the decision here if, if he costs three mana? Oh, so he's going to take, I guess, the safer route. Hello! That's a pretty good one. I wonder if this is ever trade trade here. I think you go face. Yeah, trade the 3-3 three, three, I think is fine. I'm just going to trade everything. He's only going to get one ooze. This comes down to Dog having to have an answer to this. I mean, the extra 8-8 eight, eight is just... Ooh. Well, we'll be at one. One health, but can, can Zelay piece together two damage? Abusive Sergeant does it. Uh, power Overwhelming, but I don't think he has any left. Maybe a Dark Peddler into a Power Overwhelming Abusive Sergeant. Oh, Knife juggler. This game is crazy. Explosion could do it. Oh, Woodwalker protects it. That Woodwalker does weird. protect oh. it. Do oh, man. Oh, this my is gosh. Close. Eight damage crashing in. Dog needs help off the top, too. The juggle even goes face. He's down to one. <gasps> Force of nature. That's a full clear. That is a full clear. Oh, no. 
Oh my god. Oh no, does Soleil have one damage? The dog just puts his hands up there and goes, oops, sorry. Oh man, oh. Argent Squire. This could be like the boss. sickest comeback. At one health, and Zelay is just, you can tell that he just looks annoyed. So, Dog needs multiple attacks to clear this off. He needs four attacks to be able to clear through this. Big up through another wall! Oh my gosh! And I, there's nothing. Nope, he's not dead no matter what. If he clears off both of the, uh, of, if you kill, say he attacks him, King Boss with the first shredder and attacks the one with the second shredder, Iron Peak is going to leave him at one if he doesn't attack the Divine Shield here. So this is it. Iron Beak Owl is needed for Zelay right now. Oh my goodness. He hopes he prays well? That's going to buy him a turn. It yeah, like. but I, I, I don't know. Is 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 there still any ways that um, we, he can find a win here? I must How about Keeper of the Grove? That's going to do it. Dog fights his way back from 1 HP. And yes, he does. Game number five. Oh my gosh, TJ! I can't believe Dog won this game. Wow. What? That like I was writing that game 